Nadav, your first few films all dealt with law enforcement and masculinity and kind of orthodoxy in society. And this new film uh, is much more, it's, it's much more personal, but it's also much more of a direct critique of Israeli nationalism. Um, we just kind of wanted to ask, like, what provoked this turn? And do you consider this a turn? Is this just sort of a natural continuation of the work that you were doing? Um, I, in a way, I guess it's both. I mean, I guess it's like the, the um, after synonyms, I didn't want to make another movie about Israel. Mm -hmm. I mean, I felt that I said whatever I had to say. Okay. And that, uh, I mean, what, what, what can be said after you make a movie about someone who, who escaping Israel in order to go to France, feeling that he's going for, from the worst place on earth to the best place on earth, who refuses to talk his language, who, 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 who see this language, Hebrew, as a doomed language, as a language of the devil. I mean, for me, it's... You know, uh, synonyms. There's, there is this list of adjective, of negative adjective that is like uh, articulating about Israel, and 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 and, and Night's knee was a kind of. On one end, it was totally like for me, kind of unpredictable project. I, I said before, I don't I don't know how much of you were were before, but. I'll, I'll, I'll act as if no one of you was there because I'm going to repeat some stuff, so sorry. But but uh, the day before I started to write the script, I didn't know that the movie would be done. And two weeks later, two weeks and a half later, there was already a script. So there was something, but... You're talking about Ahed's knee here. I talk about Ahed's knee, yeah. yeah. But, but, and, and, but I think that there was also... Like I remember, for instance, that the, when the movie was... was, was um, during the fabric fabrication of the pre-production, there was a Berlin Film Festival, and Synonyms got the, the Golden Bear, and, and 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 started to to to, and 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 many many people wrote, and I guess they were right, like intelligent people, I think, also in film comedy, about the the, the ambiguity in in in, in Synonyms, and 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 to which extent, like this guy, okay, on one hand, he he has this this terrible hate and hostility towards Israel, but on the other hand, himself is Israeli and he's a star and he's sexy and he's a, so. And I remember that I told myself, I, I don't understand this ambiguity. I mean, I I I, I, I when I was doing Ayat's knee, I told myself the only thing I want is to hit Israel with uh, with uh, you know to to hit the Israeli head i mean i felt that, that there was something i felt i was i was taken by by in a way i wanted just to shout i was fed up with this ambiguity with this uh, on one hand but on the other hand uh, 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 I, 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 I i i felt that it's a kind of artistic cliche that complexity equal ambiguity that when you say one thing and the opposite you are you are you are you are you are complex while when you say one thing you are you are shallow and 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 i didn't understand in a way why saying one positive word about israel i mean i couldn't find one 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 positive word to say about, about when israel. you were when you were writing the script for when i was when name? i was when, when i was preparing the, the 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 film yeah and 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 i must say that when i when i watched the movie today I feel that there's a lot of ambiguity inside it. I mean, I feel, I feel, but it's, I really feel that it's something that happened behind my back. I mean, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel as if well, it's not, it's not, it's not love-hate relationship, which is like terrible cliche, but it's like intimacy. I think there's, there's intimacy and, and this intimacy that of course is also the key for the, for, for the rage, for the fury, for is 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 something that in a way you know it's i feel as if i put the camera and the intimacy is is is, is already inside there's a f there's a familial relationship almost that's like yeah yeah i mean one you mean to say your own movie is betraying you <laughs> yeah <laughs> no I'm, I'm 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 really like you know i got to the editing room 
and 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 I was I was like watching the materials with the editor and I told her at the end it, there's a lot of affection to his I was, I was I remember I was like I didn't understand who who did it <laughs> <laughs> well one uh, you know in in some ways the movie is really so much more direct than even synonyms which is also pretty explicit this mm-hmm. movie is really you say some things out loud you know or not you your surrogate mm. I guess but Um, but one way in which I guess it is ambiguous and why we actually wanted to do this is you um, really excoriate the Israeli Ministry of Culture, you know, the authorities that censor dissenting attitudes towards art. But the film is also managed to get funding from the Ministry of Culture, from the Film Fund, from the Film Council. So how did that come about? Um, what was that process and process? We, we I, no I mean, I mean but it, it's, it's a good question but I must say that I, I'll begin it, it with the end but maybe um, we got <coughs> for this movie 20,000 euros from 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 the state of Israel which is 1.7 percent of the budget and I must say that if I would have known that that I'll be asked so many times about about the Israeli Ministry of Culture but about the logo if it's of Israeli Ministry of Culture I would have asked at least for for double for double I mean because I feel that I, that I work for free you know I mean I mean I mean it's not uh, we, we, we that is I mean the point you're raising is is a good one that it is kind of becomes like you have the logo so it becomes kind of PR even even if the contribution was so small yeah I mean I mean as you said there's something there's something that funny about feeling that you are trapped that you are trapped that you can't you can't I mean I mean I mean whatever you do I mean you you, you, you in a way you're trapped in this in this um, I mean uh, the story itself I don't know to which extent it, it's interesting but but when 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 we, when when we decided to make the movie with the French producer I I thought and I think I was right that that it's too risky. To ask for Israeli funding and 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 in all my previous films I always I mean whatever it means I'm I'm super Israeli I was born there I, I mean I, I never I never I I really don't think that Israeli money is health is 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 is, um, is, uh, is not I don't know clean is is, is, is is filthy I mean it's not more filthy than any other money in the world I think but so so I was like I, I never I never had any problem but but here here it looks it looked too risky like I was afraid that that not only will not get the money for such a script but that, that someone I don't know will publish it in the press in the media and then the movie will be and decide and we decided although the mo- movie is 100% Israeli like unlike synonyms for instance, that got a uh, real funding we decided to 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 and, and although we didn't have the budget was really small we decided to give it up and only after the movie was 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 taken selected to Khan we 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 applied uh, to get a kind of com- complementary support and two film funds refused and one gave us this 20,000 euros and 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 They were they were kind and generous and courageous but uh, but uh, although it's of course it's a ridiculous sum of money but uh, but uh, but as you say in a way I guess that it's an interesting twist it's an interesting you know it's an interesting twist because because it's 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 maybe it's another it's another way of articulating that this kickboxing dance that I'm dancing with my with my motherland in all my movies is endless I mean that it's always based on like uh, uh, slapping and kissing or something like this I mean I mean that it will be forever and ever yeah I guess I was uh, curious if you know the What was the reaction when you applied? Did they have to look at your uh, cut? Did they have to look at a rough cut? Did they have to look at a script? Um, because the ministry that you describe in the movie seems or the character described in the movie seems so censorious. like was this were these people different who ended up supporting? When, when, when we applied, it was already a different ministry. It was after there were like um, 
it was after like 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 the elections in israel and and it was a different ministry uh but i would i mean i know that we're supposed to talk about censorship but i i i would like to say that i think that that unlike as far as i know i mean i'm not i'm not an expert neither to iran nor um, i've been i may show my film in places like russia turkey in china they were censored but but russia and turkey and 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 i think that the israeli case is different like even i think that even even in the worst days of israeli censorship for the best and for the worst in israel you don't have to throw film directors to jail uh or to put i don't know tanks or soldiers in the entry of the 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 the, the offices of film funds because this um internal conflict between the regime and, and the people that doesn't really exist like in a way basically each one of us is a small sensor mm. and and the censorship comes from within and 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 in a way people you know israeli film directors also whatever it means left wings etc it's extremely common that when they are criticized for their movies the most common answer is but we are the best ambassadors of israel and as if i know I, i never understood why a film director should present himself as an ambassador i mean i mean i mean and why 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 um, but there is something as if at the end we all serve a bigger cause you know if you the film director or a flamenco dancer at the end you're a part of the you know of the general israeli cause so so on this sense i think that 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 the 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 i mean of course it's great that that i don't know that that film directors are, or, or or writers are not uh, rotting in jail but in a way in a way there's something about the fact that this harmony between 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 artist and the regime is 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 also terrible yeah if i may interject uh, <laughs> state funding of movies that are critical of the state is not uncommon and mostly in developing nations we have a situation in iran before the revolution i'm talking about before 1979 where the so-called iranian new wave which had made some noise across the world and was starting actually a new cinema in iran was mostly funded by uh, the Iranian government agencies, the cultural agencies of the government, uh, like the Ministry of Art and Culture or like the television uh, entity in the country, and they were all receiving government budgets. And that was mainly because there was no other source of funding. We had a commercial cinema. It was the mainstream Iranian cinema. It was something not really like Bollywood, but at, it had the same function. And there was no way the private sector would invest money in making a sort of highbrow kind of movies. We used to call them either cultural or artistic movies back then. So it was left to the government. And the government at the time under the Shah, the whole country was going through a process of modernization and there was this uh, reimagining of the country by the Shah's government as you know the great civilization that is well ahead of us and they weren't predicting what happened after the revolution which was no great civilization obviously so the that, to them that was like a function of the cultural entities of the government to support these movies even though the movies were critical of the government policies and they were making fun of the process of modernization in the country movies like okay mister you can tell from the title it was made by pavis kimiavi at the time or he made another movie about the called the mongols it was about the invasion of iran by modernity basically or there was another uh, much more realistic movie called the mina cycle was about the blood trafficking in Iran and how people get sick because of the dirty blood 
And that movie was actually censored. You said almost all entities in Israel allow themselves to be censors at one point or another. That movie was, uh, was actually requested to be banned by the Iranian Union of the Physicians. So they were the censors in this case. And that movie remained banned for three years until the Shah himself intervened and said, no, no, there's nothing wrong with this film. You can show it. So in Iran, we have this saying uh, that the knife wouldn't cut its own handle. It's, wouldn't that be similar to don't bite the hand that feeds you? But in Iran, the filmmakers are doing that. And they were getting away with it. They were getting funding from the government and they were attacking the government. The new regime, the Islamic regime, learned their lessons. I mean, they only support the propaganda movies. If there's a movie that they feel, first of all, they don't finance them. And if there's a movie with outside financing, which is critical of the government, they immediately ban it. I mean, the censorship after the revolution is much harsher compared to what it was, which we can talk about later. I, I want to say another thing that, that basically I think that, that the process that happened in Israel, I mean in Israel for years there was something totally schizo schizophrenic because like the, the, the state had its oppressive sides while art and mainly cinema was basically totally free. I mean, there was something really strange that it, on one hand, like like the state did what it did, and 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 at the same time, you could you could you could you could do easily the harshest movies being financed without having the slightest uh, anxiety or fear, uh, and and this harmonious unharmonious machine went very well. But I remember that I, that I always thought, first of all, in a way, I'm not like any prophet or something like this, but I always felt that it's going to end at a certain moment because there's something, it's also like, you know, like film, cinema is not poetry. Cinema is connected to, 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 to money, to material, to material. Yeah, to capital. Like you, 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 when you make a movie, you need trucks, you need, you need crew, you need, so it's too connected to the to the basic essence of the of the, of the state to be so detached, and also also there's something almost unfair about it because like you know I mean why should filmmaker profit from such a liberty where others uh, don't and 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 um, and I feel that in a way it arrived today to a more I wouldn't say healthy because it's unhealthy but to a more reasonable point where where where. I mean, I mean, this 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 basic uh, argument of 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 Israeli, I don't like these words, but let's say right wing, saying in a way, we are the, the majority, why don't we control cinema? I think they are right. I mean, I think they, I think I think they are right because 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 otherwise it becomes a kind of cinema becomes a kind of snobbish, elitistic, too easy, uh, how do you say it, reservoir like this, where like uh, outside people as, are in cage and inside people like, you know, they, they, so, so, mm. so maybe, maybe, maybe it's a normal, maybe it's a normal process. I mean, maybe, maybe filmmakers should, should, should live inside their, 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 their state, inside their, their, don't you think? I mean, do you think it serves you know, this di harmony, disharmony that you're describing, but in a sense, even the people who are complaining, why don't we control the cinema, do you think it also serves their agenda in some way? Because it does, you know, it serves this impression of a very democratic <laughs> system, right? Like, that's the pinnacle of a democratic system where uh, the, the people can critique the state and still benefit from its liberties i think it characterizes societies that are what we see i think all over the world that, that, that are not complex anymore by this by this i mean i mean you know as long as, as, as states are complex so they need to do this 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 you know to create this facade but the moment that that the that, that you are not complex anymore that you said yeah that's that's who i am 
I don't have any problems with this. Like complex so, in terms of like pluralistic ideologies, different people with different, with different ideas about the world, you mean? When you, say, uh, when you said when states aren't complex, you mean like complex in terms of a lot of different ideas within like i mean i mean i mean so 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 sorry so, um, i'm sorry the, the, talking about my film filmography but for instance when remember that when i made the kindergarten teacher that is the topic it's you okay. can <laughs> you can okay. refer back to it. okay okay so i remember that when i when i made the kindergarten teacher in a way i thought that that a way of describing israel is like a place where people don't like don't love poets anymore hate poets and 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 in a way they don't have any problems with it. They say we 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 hate poetry. Uh, they they don't you know they they don't have to like to 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 keep this these poetry books that they never open in order that the guests which, because also the guests don't have these these poetry books so everything is okay. Uh, and I remember and I remember that 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 it's just an anecdote but I remember that that maybe I don't know two years after the movie there was there was. Um, a minister that, that was giving a speech in a kind of a party party reunion and he made a kind of quote of 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 Albert Camus and I don't remember how but but he mis he mispronounced his name and then he said like, I don't know Camus it doesn't matter and then like someone in the in the audience like shouted no you say Camus and then he said uh, what do you want I didn't read a single book in the last 10 years and everyone was 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 applauding and and I felt that this this was like the the the, the thing. I mean I mean when you so the complexity you mean is this like the rise of this kind of anti intellectualism. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The lack of complexity. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Every. Yeah. I think we see that hate of poetry. I think I many think I... in many places in the yeah, world. Yeah, you know it very, sure. very well, yeah. I guess. Yeah. The United States is certainly not immune to it. <clears throat> um, you mentioned uh, being an ambassador, feeling like you or feeling like filmmakers had to be ambassadors, and we also wanted to talk about how the uh, Hudson kind of addresses the issue of national cinema, like an, uh, being an Israeli filmmaker, what it means to be an Israeli filmmaker. I think that this film kind of digs into that <laughs> pretty directly, um, and I think maybe so. Our question is like, I guess, do you are do you consider yourself to be an Israeli filmmaker? And what would it mean to be an Israeli filmmaker? Or any kind of national filmmaker? And I think we want to ask Jamshid if you have any thoughts on that, too. You want to you wanna, you wanna start and not think? <laughs> uh, you know, you made the kindergarten teacher. And that was such an Israeli movie. I mean, almost every element of it. I, I'm sorry if you haven't seen it, but I highly recommend it. And the, the kind original. of original, we recommend the original. The original, <laughs> the Israeli movie. Yeah. And then there was a remake of it four years later, an American movie. And you compare the two, and that gives you the idea of what a national cinema is like. I mean, the two movies are so different. Yes, they have the same plot. I'm sure you've seen the American version. There's nothing, nothing from the Israeli spirit of your movie in the American version. Because basically what they did, they picked up the plot point from your movie and turned it into an American movie, a kidnapping story, basically. Your movie has a soul. The American movie is just a movie. You know, a movie that tells you the story, a thriller, you know, kidnapping stuff like all other movies. So that tells you something about the national cinema. I'm not saying that in America there is no national cinema, but it's not represented by Hollywood. I mean, there's obviously a national cinema here, but it's different. The independent American cinema is the American national cinema. It's, it's, it's a, actually, it's an interesting example, I think, because first of all, it's true that it's exactly the same script and yet it's like two different movies Completely. and uh, and that when i watched the american movie I'm, i mean i thought it, it was it was good but but i felt that again although it's exactly the same scenes the same script the same dialogue 
it's it talks about something completely different like i felt it it talks about midlife crisis or something like this and that in a way in a way poetry was kind of margin i mean this this woman also could have had an affair with a guy from the supermarket or a young guy i mean in a way she, she wanted to do something uncommon or something like this which is which is a good topic but but like there my film was 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 about using poetry i mean i mean ex examining this situation of poetry was all, also a way to to understand to to feel the pulse the dna of a place of a nation um and and maybe maybe you know i mean i mean i guess that uh, you asked about israeli filmmaker what does he, if i see myself as in, in his inner so i would say that maybe i don't i, I may, I think you know that all my movies, and afterwards I want to do different movies. I don't want to do these movies anymore. But 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 all. Isn't but, that what you thought after synonyms? Yeah, it's true. Huh? You're gonna but do some, you're gonna uh, do but yeah, so don't, don't uh, yeah. But 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 <laughs> yeah. No, but, but but I feel that all my movies deal with this. Again, I don't like this word because it was too used, but this identity thing and 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 this identity thing the the the, the thing in the way the way i mean you know identity is such an abstract and such a concrete thing it's something that you on one hand you don't understand but you feel it you 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 it sounds as i said it sounds extremely abstract, but you feel it in the slightest gestures suddenly you know in the most daily things suddenly you you feel that there's another thing inside you which is not only yourself or which became part of yourself and, it, and it's something that you want to in a way you want to you want to you dream about getting rid of it in order to be free but you were afraid that nothing will remain of you if you won't have identity you'll be like a balloon filled with helium or something like this you'll be just empty and 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 there's something it's a little bit like in a way sometimes it's a little bit like rosemary's baby like you feel that you have the devil inside you but maybe the devil is yourself so what i'm trying to say that on this sense i guess that for me like i feel that being an israeli director it's not a choice Is it, I mean, kind of going off of that, I do wonder, like, is it useful to speak about cinema in national terms, do you think? Uh, especially because nationalism is so fraught nowadays, at this point in history, but it's been for many years, um, you know, nation states are like fraught and mostly oppressive regimes. So is it useful still to speak of cinema in national terms, to speak of an Israeli cinema, to speak of an Iranian cinema? Or is that something that is coming from state funding, from state support, or is there something other than that that makes it useful to think of cinemas in terms of nations? Well, in Iran, at least, uh, there's no talk of national cinema uh, since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. They're talking about Islamic cinema. And after 40 years, 40 years plus, Nobody knows what an Islamic cinema is like. It's like, you know, in Israel having a Jewish cinema. Can you have a Jewish cinema? They, they are good in labeling things. Like, for example, they changed the label of the Ministry of Art and Culture to the Ministry of uh, Culture and Islamic Guidance. So Can you imagine that? It would be something like having a ministry called the Culture and uh, is uh, Jewish guidance or culture and Christian guidance. Can you imagine that having you, your highest uh, agency that supervises all the cultural and artistic activity under that kind of brand? So the Islamic cinema is also a brand like that, but completely shallow. So, Still, nobody so, can figure so out. When, when they talk, for instance, about Abbas Kiyo movies, they consider it as, as Islamic cinema? No. I mean, they can't because there's nothing Islamic about it. And this is the credit that should be given to Iranian filmmakers that they have been fighting this government and the Iranian censors without really fighting it. I mean, you can, in Iran, you cannot be anti-regime. You have the luxury of making a movie like Ahed's Knee. 
no Iranian filmmaker can make a movie like that in Iran. They would be sent straight to jail, if not assassinated. So we're talking about two different worlds. <laughs> I no, mean, totally. Uh, every Iranian filmmaker would love to be in your position in terms of having the freedom of attacking their own government, being critical of their own government. But that's not the situation in Iran. Situation in Iran, as a filmmaker, you either have, have to sell yourself to the government, be a pro-government filmmaker, and a lot of them are right now, I get funding and everything, or be sort of indifferent and apolitical, which is what Abbas Kiarostami was, which is what Asghar Farhadi is right now, and they realize that's the only way they can survive, and they still make the kind of movies they would like. Not all the movies that they would like, because they're still under self-censorship, so they're very limited in terms of what they can produce. And again, I think filmmaking in Iran, especially for people like, well, the late Kiarostami, Asghar Farhadi right now, it's like a miracle. I mean, the censorship is so harsh and restrictions are so tough that no filmmaker, f filmmaking should be possible under those circumstances. But not only they're making movies, but they are also, even more than Israeli films, they have, a, uh, they have turned into main staples of so many film festivals. Uh, a film like Farhadi, Farhadi has won two Oscars <laughs> in the space of uh, six years. That's what I call a miracle, to be able to make movies like that in the face of those restrictions. When, when, when I hear you, I mean, I'm, I don't know if it's connected to anything, but I don't know, when, when I decided to start to make films, it was totally under the influence of Iranian cinema. I remember I, I lived in Paris, I was like, I don't know, 22 years old, and the best thing that existed was Iranian movies. I was like, uh, like, Kewistami and Mahmal Behef, and, and the, for me they were like totally, on, not, not only my heroes, but, but they, 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 it's throughout their movies I understood how cinema is the most, is the best way to to express existence and beauty and truth. So it's on this sense, it's really miraculous that all of this takes place in 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 a system that denies truth, for instance. Yeah. For those of you who may not be completely aware of, the Iranian censorship is unique in the history of cinema. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Because, well, Iran has never been a democracy but it was a modern secular dictatorship under the Shah, and we had censorship, like you couldn't be critical of the Shah's uh, modernization process, or you couldn't be critical of the government, the army, the police. But that's what I would call political censorship, which has existed in many countries, in many dictatorial countries, and it still does. But after the revolution, not only they kept those uh, political codes, but they added religious codes to them. In Iranian movies, men and women could, could not have the slightest physical touch, even holding hands. And I'm not talking about two lovers holding hands. I'm talking a father or actor playing a father, not being able to hold the hand of his daughter. Or a mother not being able to uh, hug her son. No physical contact is allowed in Iranian movies. Women are not allowed to dance or sing. In Iranian movies. Women have always have to have their hair covered, even when they're sleeping in bed, even when they're in the privacy of their homes. Can you make any of your movies under those kind of uh, censorship codes? I mean, it's impossible. Uh, but the last, yeah, I, I just saw not long ago the, the, the film of Osolov. I, 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 I know that he's under like a, but but for his, for instance, his movie is extremely critical, and there I felt that some of these things that you talk about, I mean, I don't know to which extent they exist. I mean, I know that he paid a price for it. Yeah. So th just to continue my sort of simplified categorization of the Iranian filmmakers, we had those two categories, and then the third one is are people like Jafar Panahi or Mohammad Rasulov. They have completely ignored the Iranian censors. 
They make their movies surreptitiously. They know they can't show their movies in Iran. But thanks to the sort of international reputations that they've gathered, a Panahi movie could open any festival, or Rasulov can get in a, into any film festival. And they can also have uh, a market. Uh, thanks to Kino Lorber, Lorber uh, they can sell their movies and they can make some money that way. So it's not, they can survive without having their movies being shown in Iran. But as you mentioned, they pay a price. They both went to jail for a period. Uh, they are not allowed to uh, travel outside of Iran. Uh, Panay has been banned from filmmaking for 20 years, but he still makes his movies. There is a sort of uh, sentence hovering over his head for six years in jail. The government can uh, put that into effect any time. So yes, there's a personal price to be paid, but uh, that's the unfortunate situation. And there's one category of filmmakers that we do not have in Iran, and that would be the anti-government filmmakers. Would you consider yourself an anti-government of Israel filmmaker? Your movies tell us that you are, <laughs> especially <laughs> I as me. <laughs> I, I, Look, let me give you another example, a Michael Moore. <laughs> okay. I'll, meanwhile... No. Well, we're dying to hear your answer, okay. No, but I consider myself as a researcher of Israeli government collective soul no no of Israeli collective soul not 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 I, I, I don't That's care about the Israeli government I mean uh, you know today they here tomorrow they're somewhere else but uh, but 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 I feel that the, that that the, the DNA or the 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 the, the, the and, and and in a way also the disease is chronicle and, and 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 the government is only only an arbitrary exp expression of this of this uh, of this disease so you distinguish between the the state and the uh, i yeah I, the I, soul I, of the i mean country. on this sense i never i don't feel that i'm doing political movies or at right. least at least at least you can laugh but but i'm serious i mean at least at least in the way that i think that political movies are usually interpreted because usually usually I, th I think when we talk about political movies we have in head someone who wants to take to talk about a sp specific political issue and to promote to uh, his 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 opinion like a possible solution uh, or at least to 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 indicate the gravity of the problem etc i all these things that don't exist in my movies. I I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't do a movie about the problem of checkpoints or how Israeli soldiers are dealing with. I try to to. As I said, I try. I think that that I try to dig inside what I feel is is the DNA of a nation, is the collective soul of a nation, and try to to portray it, and to 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 to, to put it on to turn it to something physical because it's very abstract, and to put it on a screen with 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 body gestures, with and 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 um, and, and 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 I think that that's why in my movie and and politics is. Is 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 a way is a way to 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 dig inside his soul. But that's why I feel that sometimes in my movies, also I think in Aizni, when people are doing the most political acti activity, like someone can 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 recite a, an extremely political manifest, and it will be the most personal and private. Uh, things that he has done and he can dance or kiss or make love in an extremely political way so that's what also I mean I never thought that I'm doing left-wing movies I, th I think I'm, I'm happy in a way that when I feel when I think that my movies would never be shown in a political gathering of neither of the parties of the political parties in Israel, including the one I'm voting for. I'm curious, um, sorry, which 
what lineage of filmmakers, writers, or artists do you place yourself within? You know, who do you? And they need not be Israeli, but they could be Israeli. Like, who do you? Who are you? Whose steps do you think you're following in in doing this kind of work? Um. First of all, it's it's changing. I mean, there are like uh, <coughs> not not long ago, I had like. Um, uh, kind of a retrospective in France and, and they asked me to do like a, a carte blanche you know to choose like to select like uh, movies that are close to my heart and and, and they, they told me okay please try to limit yourself to five movies it was after Reitzny and I remember that I told myself fuck I mean I'm going to have like 50 movies and and, and, uh, and at the end I could hardly find four and 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 this is because, for instance, now I think I'm in a point in my cinema where I'm replacing my 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 I wouldn't say idols, but my companions. Mm. I mean, there are a lot of movies that I still feel that were for me sources of inspiration, um, <coughs> sources of ins if inspiration. And today I still think that they are great, but they don't inspire me anymore. Uh, and I and I'm looking for new ones. So 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 so, so in a way it's like a, a problematic timing for the question. But but I feel I guess I feel very close to directors like uh, it's very old fashioned to say Chantal Ackerman. I mean she she she's already from the I feel like old, but uh, but um, you name drop Eisenstein in the film. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but Yomkin, it's it's marvelous. I I could watch it all day long. But uh, I can tell you, for instance, as in this movie, my 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 biggest source of inspiration was uh, the return of uh, Twin Peaks by of, by Lynch. I mean, I watched it. Hmm. I, to say I watch it again and again and again, I feel it's a little bit embarrassing as if I took things out of, I didn't take anything, but but but, but there was something in, in this ambience of, of st strangeness and, 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 and terrifying strangeness uh, that, 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 that you know, in this this no man no man land that, that was 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 truly inspiring for me, and also I liked the idea that it was at least that's the way I saw it. It was totally non-ideological. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. It's strange to 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 to, to say about a film like I need that it's not that it's non-ideological, but yeah there was something about about Lynch cinema also I think before like before before we we did a talk with Ira Zacks that I see here after the movie and he said very wisely I think he said that he felt that the movie is filled with pain and that the shooting was all in the in, in way that the the joyful moments how did you say that the joyful moments were 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 were, were cinematic so this is also something that, that in a way, I think, in this sense, also in a way, Lynch was a kind of inspiration, because it's, it's in a way you feel like the the yeah, as if the only the only uh, the only beauty is the cinematic gesture. But it is also something that Karak say. Also Karak, I would name as one of the yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about the. Similarity to uh, Brechtian uh, distanciation in your movies and uh, how the kind of form that you use is almost like slapping the audience in their face to keep them awake to, you know, those uh, bursts of musical set pieces in the middle of nowhere. You, you know, they, they come so unexpected. The uh, whip pants that you keep using in your movies, the traveling shots, the following your uh, character so closely, having them 
uh, violate the personal spaces, each other, personal spaces of each other. I mean, those are all constant reminders that, hey, don't be absorbed by this movie. <laughs> Just uh, be on your own and think of your own situations, your own uh, issues, and this is just a movie you're watching. The very strong presence of uh, formal elements and the way you manipulate those formal elements. Yeah, I mean, I mean maybe, maybe, maybe like, like I have like several things to say about it. Like, first of all, I think you know that for me, like this is just a movie it's, I mean, but but of course, for me, it's a very emotional thing, just a movie. I mean, movies for me, it's the most moving moving thing. In a way, like, sometimes I feel myself like as a citizen in the kingdom of cinema, you know. And in a way, I prefer this cinema, this kingdom about, sometimes about the normal kingdom, the Israeli kingdom, the American kingdom, the prefer the cinema kingdom so in a way i think that like the, the 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 sometimes i do feel that nothing is more beautiful than this this cinematic gesture and more moving also in the cinematic gesture and 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 i and i never i never wished to simply alienate i mean alienation wasn't 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 one of my 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 uh, targets on the other hand i do feel that i i don't know why but i do feel that people don't want to see anything anymore and that 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 i mean i i i i think that maybe it's a generational thing i think that it's maybe you know i i was started to to make my movies and grew up in a period where cinema is not anymore so important where you feel that it became like the religion of minority and not of the majority i think you know if if like i imagine like the, i imagine filmmakers in the 70s that they felt that they represent the majority and 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 i feel i feel totally different and 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 in a way, yeah, in a way, I feel that that if if you wouldn't take the the heads of people and will really shake it twenty times really powerfully, they will they will they will look at their iPhones. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I feel that there's something extremely fragile in these movies. That these movies they can easily they can easily be ignored that people can easily be indifferent and that in a way this whatever it means is provocations it's 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 the only way to 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 try to 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 touch them to touch their their souls um, um so what do you what with this movie maybe what is it that you were trying to uh i mean we had a question that was pretty broad and it was like <laughs> What do you want? What are you trying to do? Like, what are you trying to communicate here? And what are you trying to get across? And more like, and I think this is a, this kind of comes out of this question of political and personal too. Is this a personal film, or are you trying to affect some or influence the political landscape in some way, or make, or are you trying to analyze your own experience of it? I mean, and so how? When when you ask people when you shake people, what are you trying to shake them to to see? Uh, it's a good question. Um, and you know you might not have an answer to that. But that's no, okay. No, no, no but necessarily it's, need to. You know, I'm. I don't. I don't exactly know what my movies are telling. Right. I mean, I don't. I, it's not my. I mean, when 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 you know when I discuss. For instance, here, like when I discussed, for instance, the scenes. I mean, it's not. It 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 sounds like a pose to say it, but it's true. I mean, when I discussed, for instance, the scenes with the main actor. So uh, I mean, it really helped that he's a choreographer because we were talking about rhythm all the time, not about meaning. Like we said, I was telling him, 
here you are ta 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 and then ta 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 and again ta 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 like and this he's and a dancer right is he's, that... he's, he's a, yeah he's a mainly choreographer so so he, so he, the rhythm was was it's a, it was a s- simple for him but but so i mean i mean i i don't know i feel for instance i had knee i feel so i was watching david lynch etc but the thing i was watching the most was jackson pollock running and hitting the how do you call it the the Pain. Yeah, yeah. Paintings, yeah. Yeah. So I feel that my movies, I mean, I don't know, that, that maybe maybe that, 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 that they, are, they are the closest to expressionist painting, for instance. And 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 there is there is this wonderful sentence uh, and that, that the expressionist painter that I don't want to paint the car, but the emotions that the car left in my in my heart after after it passed. So 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 I want to I mean I want at the end I guess I want to 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 put feelings on the screen and in a way I don't want to leave the choice to the audience to feel them or not I want to force them to feel them but 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 feelings it's like it became like a cheap word because feelings are I think are composed of of ideas of ideology of right. opinions of of you know feelings it's not like uh, being sad being happy ambiguous you might even say yeah uh just one final question i think and then we'll open it up but um you know the occupation of palestine like haunts the your films like a specter the last couple of ones especially In this one, it is referenced most explicitly in the title, in the opening, in the dialogue. Um, but at the same time, it still remains very much in the world of this filmmaker and how he's grappling with that specter. And we wanted to ask about that choice. And would, you know, did you consider a version of this movie that would have Arab characters and actually focus on Ahed or, you know, these incidents that haunt Ahed? the filmmaker and propel him to make the movie yeah i mean you know i mean regarding this 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 proximity and this <laughs> distance between myself and why so i never thought about making a movie name ayd's knee or about ayd tamimio i wouldn't i would i wouldn't i wouldn't and it's true that i think that in, in my movies like in all my movies and maybe especially like palestine Palestinians as you said or the occupation that that it's it's hunting the movie but they never they they hardly or they never present uh, politically I would say that in a way for me the in my head the Palestinian is already an integral part of the of the mind of the soul of it of the Israeli I think like that when, that when the Israeli is looking at the mirror he sees the Palestinian and 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 that in a way in their absence they are it, they are much more present that in if i would try to do all sort of representations of them as i think you see sometimes in in political more conventional political israeli cinema i i in a very in a very instinctive way i i basically i want i want always to do only the movies that I have to do and only the movies that I'm the only person who's able to do and I'm not the only person who's able to 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 show Palestinians and to talk about and I don't like to talk about topics I think you know it's like very it's like sounds to me like very cold cinema this cinema that talks about topics um um afterwards you know this this I think that for me this Aitz Tamimi thing I, I I for me there was something fascinating about it and in a way I think that it's a kind of key also to the movie because when I think about ah, it's the Mimi story I don't know how much you know, how, how, how many of you know it like a young Palestinian uh, uh, girl from 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 a family um, lives in in West Bank from a family of uh, political militants who became like very famous from a very young 
age he was confronting like the Israeli soldiers and 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 in a way that the, the most uh, famous uh, incident took place like around four years ago when she 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 slapped an Israeli soldier and she was 16 or six, 16 and a half and and afterwards she was thrown to prison for nine months or something like this but but this item made me think you know I think it's like on one hand it's like extremely concrete and and and, and, and specific and, and and political and and, and real and almost from the world of, of news of you of YouTube of documentary on the other hand it's it's totally legendary and mythical I mean I mean I mean when you watch her like this you know in this confronting the Israeli soldier I, I, I al always told myself that if she would have lived in the 15th century she would have become the hero of so many paintings of Leonardo da Vinci and, and Raphael and, and she it would become like like a, a recurrent theme you know in the Renaissance painting they would have they would have I could I can only already imagine like the statues in the piazza you know of Aita Mimi and the soldier Joan of Arc yeah, yeah 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 exactly I mean you you think of her you think of Jeanne d'Arc so it's it's almost non-political it's almost like 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 mythical it's almost from the word of 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 of, of legends it's the place where, where art you don't understand if it's more artistic or more political and I think that it's it's also something that in a way exists in the in the in the movie which is which is a combination between the most here and now uh, elements like you know real names real names of politicians real names of of, of YouTube uh, videos uh, mm -hmm. censorship and the sa same time it's it's like well, I wouldn't like to spoil the movie for those who didn't see it, but so I wouldn't say the word it ends with, but the earth looked upon from the from the sky throughout the cloud. I mean, you know, it's the most, and it begins with the sky. So in a way, it's the most general, distant, existential, maybe thing. Um, yeah. I think in just comparing your movies to other Israeli movies that I have seen, your movies are mostly about your interpretations, your interpretation, personal interpretation of the issues, as opposed to something, showing something in very realistic terms. For example, you talked about the Checkpoint movies and the movie that represented Israel in the Academy Awards this year. Was It didn't make the short list, but it was uh, let the morning in that was the title yeah and that is with the checkpoint issues and the main characters are palestinian in that movie and in a way people have come to expect those kind of movies directly political movies from israeli cinema and your movies none of your movies are like that your movies are like through a particular personal lens and you know we really don't expect to see the naked realities of the uh, Israeli society in your movie, just your interpretations of them. I, it's, I mean, I, I can say that I don't like directors who are doing research. I mean, I think that, that your research should be your life. I mean, I mean, you know, my, my, my research, my, the research I did in order to make my movies was to live. And, 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 and in a way, I feel, I mean, after a while, words, everyone can do whatever he wants, of course, but, but, but I'm, not, I'm not the Minister of Culture, but, 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 but there's something about this, you know, studying the topic. So these like, are your rules of who gets Nadav Lapid funding. Exactly, 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 <laughs> exactly. The form is here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done any research. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take it to the audience over there. I'll just quickly repeat that just so it's on our recording. So the question is about Nadav's use of the body in Ahed's knee. And sorry, I'm reducing your question, but why you make your actor do weird things with the body? <laughs> so, so my first conclusion is that you don't suffer from backache because, because you, th you think that it's so, like weird things, but I think that people who suffer from backache know that, that, this, that, that, that at least I'm doing these exercises uh, five times a week so uh, so uh, they are annoying but they are, they are. Um, yeah 
I, I, I'll say that maybe, maybe, maybe I'll start with the use of the body, and then I'll try to to, to relate. It. I mean, I think that that in general, like in my movies, yeah, I I don't want to. I mean, it's it's long, but 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 like I I said that in in general in my movies, the bodies is a kind of counterweight to the language to the words. Like in all my movies, I think. There is this element of someone who's trying to use language in order to redeem redeem the world, redeem himself, redeem the universe. Uh, I don't know it's synonyms. it's like using French words in order to 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 save himself from from Israel. In the kindergarten teacher, it's like using poems in order to save a world a, a world. That lost its brain or so um, and 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 here yeah um, I mean I mean he's, he's he's using these words in order to to redeem to save his his country to save his mother to save all, also himself but but in a way the common thing is also that these people they feel that they must use all the words I mean I mean in a way that If you if you you cannot be you cannot fake if you are not using the words in a fundamental way if, if you if you if you are missing one single detail you know that's why all the time he's like saying I'm shortening I'm shortening but he keeps on keeps on you know accumulating details in a way in a way in a way you must be addicted to the detail you must respect any slight details because other were otherwise you everything is doomed and 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 in, and in all these the movies these attempts end with a failure like I don't know it in Ids knee he has this this speech trans speech and he ends it like I feel that he ends it like empty as if he emptied himself from words he said everything and the universe stayed the same and and it's him who ends the the This speech collapsing on his knees um, and I think that in a way the body is a kind of it's a kind of you know the the, the, the counter option it's the count counter option to the to the to the words um, also you know for instance you know if you think about synonyms like it's it's a it's a someone who replaces words but but he cannot replace his body and And, and in a way the body contains contains everything that he tries to 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 flee or to. Um, I, 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 I think that this movie is 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 my in a way less physical movie I think that it's the less it's my first movie that is not about manhood and this is because I think that it's the first movie where the main character is Is already an adult I mean mm. what can you say youth ends at a certain moment and 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 in a way for him for him like you know the body exists but it exists as a souvenir from the past I mean wh- wh- where the body exists it exists in this military scenes there you see there there, there you see the celebration of body and as you said in a way the only thing that you He can still do with his body is w- weird strange things so yeah yeah let's be optimistic but uh, but uh, no but but, but 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 in a way I think the presence of body who, like for instance I don't know if in a film like synonyms is, is totally mythical totally here became a little bit ironic it's interesting synonyms linguistic title Ahed's knee corporeal title there's that Yeah, 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 and it's true and and, and, and I, 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 I think that as a part of this the body which became ironic, it's also enlightening body parts that are not uh, are not glamorous. Mm-hmm. you know we don't, we don't talk here about eyes, about lips, about about chest. talk about knee I mean I mean the only person who thought that knee is glamorous was Romeo 
but, but Klerzny, Klerzny was glamorous <laughs> and sexually appealing. <laughs> uh, the question is pushing back on the statement that the film is not about masculinity. Uh, he wants to know if you could talk about gender in the film and the central relationship between Y and uh, the deputy director of libraries, right? And uh, maybe you could talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. So now after I declared that the film is not about masculinity, yeah, I, sh you I should explain why, why is hey, it I about masculinity. Hey, I didn't ask the question. Yeah, but... Uh, That's a question, more a correction. Yeah, yeah. more of a yeah. correction. Yeah. Um, It's it's funny because uh, I don't remember I, I had the screening no, not here but somewhere uh, like two or three days ago, and someone asked if it could have been the opposite, like that you you would have been like a a woman, like a female filmmaker, and she would have been like a young male bureaucrat. And and I. And and I think that I answered that it's an interesting option, but I totally didn't believe in in, in in the possibility of this option. I mean, but I I mean I mean I I feel that I need a little bit help here because I must say that I'm not I ne I never I was maybe maybe let as I'll, I'll say differently I, I think that basically in my movies as i said because they were uh, digging with the collective so uh, so in a way the feeling is always that the that the purest expression of the soul passes through manhood that in a way young men potentially in uniforms are the purest expression of this soul they are the most hideous but in a way most also most sexy uh, 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 most beautiful uh, uh, um, a reflection of this of this of this place I mean everything that is done is done for them they are the young gods um, why did I say it ah because 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 no because because I think that on this sense, Although I had uh, like the kindergarten teacher, like the main the main character is a, is a woman, but I never I never I was never thinking about this perspective of gender in the I think maybe in the modern way contemporary contemporary way that we use it because because things were clear to me. I mean I mean I mean this was this was the country of young men, and all the other are statistics. Uh, and I I. For instance, what you, I mean, I think that, 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 that in Ayat's knee, there's something interesting about the relation of, of force, of strength, because, which is changing and, and, and all the time, because on one hand, he is like the, 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 the filmmaker who, who is ready to do everything in order to get his, his, his per, per, per DM. And she is like representing the the the, the, the state, the institution, uh, <laughs> the authority, the power. At the same time, it's clear that when in a one-on-one -on -one situation, uh, he becomes the 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 powerful one, and in a certain moment, even her tormentor, and she becomes the 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 the, the victim. And I guess it's connected also to the fact that he is like suddenly he becomes like the 50 years old man who's shouting on a young woman. Like, you know, there is this moment when he's like doing this, 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 this almost kind of inquiry. Like he asks her questions and, and when she tries to answer, he said like, no, it's not true. Like, and, and he's raising his voice and you feel that there's something in this in this in this you see you see the thing very often on tv you know the, you see how suddenly men they are shouting and the voice is is, is louder and mansplaining yeah yeah but so so but there's this kind of control from the moment they first meet there's this like it's really clear that there's this and it's very controlled in the film but um kind of dance and flirtation between them almost but it's re but they're each doing it for different reasons it seems and very but that seems to be kind of 
it happens it kind of develops over the course of the movie so that i think is like sort of i don't you know i don't know how to read that i'm not going to offer a reading of it i think yours is pretty good but it does seem like it's not a, as much about that toxic young man masculinity that you've addressed in the in your other films like the men in um uniforms yeah. jumping around as i said before like 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 you know when when, when devik asked me like for sources of inspiration i said like chantal akerman and then i mean i'm so not the right person to i don't understand i i can I can hardly use how do you call the thing that you take out money from the how do you call it? ATM. yeah ATM <laughs> so I mean I mean I really like I I really I'm I mentioned before Lynch for instance I'm extremely extremely I have so much admiration for his curiosity for 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 new technology I don't know this this short film that he made with the ma- with, with 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 the monkey it's a I I, I feel that that you know also sometimes people are talking about camera movements in my movie but all these camera movements they are, they are done they are done they are done they are done in the most primitive way it's like I, I I feel that I do like you know like a little bit like fairly Lumiere on steroids or something like this but it's like it's like it's very basic it's like a guy holding the camera and instead of doing like this maybe he's doing like this um, so 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 I don't know I don't know well, um, we definitely need to wrap it up but I know that Jamshi there was something you wanted to share uh, they issue uh, permits for the movies that are good for two years and Darush Mehjui I don't know if you know him he's one of the most respected Iranian filmmakers at the time when he started the Iranian new wave with the movie The Cow, uh, Kiarostami wasn't even making movies. <laughs> but they knew each other, they're the same age. And uh, so for the last movie that Mehjui made, it was called uh, La Minor, and the censors gave him a permit a little more than two years ago. But then because they couldn't show the movie during this past two years, you know, the COVID problem and the theaters, that permit was revoked. And he couldn't be more angry. So this is an 83-year-old guy, as I mentioned, very well respected. And he went on uh, uh, social media and started attacking the government. So that went viral. And then uh, two days later, uh, thanks to the Veka, <laughs> I saw your, your movie. And the way Mehji was ranting in his uh, video was so similar to the ranking, to the ranting of uh, your main character. Yes. Why? And I, I just wanted to, because it was really striking to me to just mention how he was talking about just Watch the mic. Just if you could keep your yelling, mic. yelling at the top of his voice, saying that I am protesting. This is the screen and showing the permit. This is the screen permit for my recent movie. A movie is not like milk or meat with an expiration date. You gave me this permit. Why do you revoke your own permit? You've banned my movies. You destroyed one of them. And then he talks about somebody who was a deputy minister, and after seeing one of his old movies that was banned, he had complained that watching your, this movie broke my back. And now he says, I wish your back had been broken when you were reading the script, because the Iranian filmmakers have to submit their script for approval and receive a production permit. He said, I wish your back had been broken back then, because then we wouldn't have spent two or three years making this movie putting all this effort into it. And now he, met, he goes to the current minister saying, who are you, who the hell are you? I have a degree in philosophy from the best American university and you're judging my film? Who the hell are you? What are your credentials? What are your achievements? You hide behind the curtain like ghosts and issue decrees? I can't take it anymore. I'm going to come to your office for a sit-in. 
along with my assistants and won't stop until I get what is my right. You esteemed minister of guidance, you better listen to me. I won't take it anymore and I'm going to fight. You can come, you can come and kill me. Here's my chest, hit me, hit me, <laughs> destroy me, kill me, do whatever you want, but I will fight for my right. I will fight. So compare that to what you hear at the end of the uh, <laughs> It was very moving. Amazing, yeah, totally. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for joining us. And thank you, everybody, for attending.